Hello, hello! Uh, so I'm making a game for the seven day roguelike, which is taking place from yesterday to six or seven days from now. I don't remember. Could be important. I have to figure it out. Doesn't matter. Uh, I thought I would take a break from coding to show off some things, uh, you know, the progress. Uh, this is progress made in like a day and a half. Uh, let's not mind this red text at the bottom and go on. So uh, that's a title screen that doesn't have anything on it right now. You just press a button uh, and I was going to try and hold up the Xbox controller in front of me, but that won't capture anything, will it? So, <laughs> to show you the Xbox controller. So it works with, with the controller um, and it also works with keyboard. Uh, it's going to be best with the controller, but never mind about that. So maybe I should I should talk about something. So whoa, a controller, right? This is a seven day roguelike. Uh, maybe it should be like a roguelike. It's going to be a little different. So I, I'm i doing a shooting, like a side-scrolling spaceship shooting game, which is thoroughly un-roguelike. I think primarily, like having it in space isn't such a deal, but having it real-time is. Uh, and most roguelikes are tile-based as well. So the ways that this is going to be roguelike-ish. Um, so you notice it said we have to go to sector ZZ Omega 9. You're going to go from 0 to 9 and then back. And, and this is analogous to going, you know, X number of levels deep into the dungeon, finding the amulet of whatever fantasy-sounding name, name uh, and then coming back with a surface to it. So it'll be that same sort of thing. Um, you'll, you'll go through these levels. There are some branches at some points, like we have at 6 and 8, uh, where you can choose which one you want to take. And then on the way back, you will, you will play the same levels but in reverse, which I'm hoping in and of itself will be an interesting sort of mechanic. Uh, and if you wanted to, you could take a different level. I just, see, I'm a little worried that this isn't actually going to be, that this branching thing won't be that interesting because you probably won't want to take a level you've never been through before. Um, the enemies will respawn all the time regardless. So, you know, coming back through six, all the same enemies will be there just in reverse. Um, but uh, so, so I, I don't know. I, I, get, I get a feeling that players will prefer to take the route they already have taken, but who knows. Um, so I don't have moving from level to level in place right now, but I do have playing a level, kind of. Um, so you can see I have a couple weapons. I'm sad that they were generated with the same color. They can have different colors. Um, oh my god, that's so fast. Okay, so that's fine. So you're not going to start with, with a super fast gun like that. And we can see all it's capable of generating is these super guys. Oh, and I wish we had a level with level on it. Anyway, um, so you, you have a, a blaster, it's an item, it's, it's a weapon, you'll have three weapon slots. Uh, there's not enough room for the third, I'll have to tighten up the text. But anyway, uh, it's going to have a, you know, Diablo or Borders Lands or whatever other game you want with randomly generated loot, kind of random generally. God, that sentence was awful. The point is that the loot is randomly generated. Um, so in this case, the split disruptor, the light split disruptor B, um, it, there's a kind of different categories of weapons. There's weapons that just shoot one thing like this. There's parallel weapons which shoot two, you know, one on top of another. You're shooting two things forward. And then these split ones that shoot off to a kind of 45 degree angle. It doesn't have to be 45, but never mind that. Um, and, and then, you know, it, it attaches random words as you do in these sorts of systems. So as you blow up these guys, which obviously none of that's working right now, uh, they may drop potion-like items, so I'm going to do the same sort of potion and scroll system that there are in roguelikes where, you know, oh, it's a red cloudy potion, what does it do this game? Does it heal me? Uh, does it, you know, poison me? Does it make me invisible? I'm going to ha try and, and make as many of those same mechanics, well, I'm at the end of the level, uh, in this game as possible. So, you know, you'll pick up alien artifacts or, you know, I don't know what I'll call them exactly, but they'll be used once items and they'll come in different colors or I'll probably just stick with colors because why not? That's easy. Um, and you'll have to learn each game. What does red do this game? What does yellow do this game? And then, of course, with loot, uh, you'll also drop, you know, instead of having helmets and shields and armor and, and weapons, I mean, a lot of the things are the same. You won't have a helmet, but you'll have, um, you know, engines instead or, or whatever. You won't have necklaces, but, but your, uh, you know, your armor is going to do crazy stuff. I, I don't know, whatever I can think of. Um, so I'm going to have all that same sort of thing. I'll probably have them be unidentified at first. And if you want to equip a weapon not knowing if it's incompatible with your computer, i.e. cursed, that's the sort of risk you take. So I'm going to try and put as many of those roguelike elements as possible into this game, even though it is otherwise rather un-roguelike. Um, and we can see I've reached the end of, end of level. It's not taking me back to the menu because this is as much as I've got coded. Um, hopefully I can show off also. Let's see. Whoops. Let me, let me run another one. 
Uh, another copy here. Oh, can I position this? Hopefully that's positioned well enough. And let's see if I get a level. Okay, so it, it does generate um, terrain as well. And we can see the weapons are differently colored this time, which is fun. We have a, a yellow one in the middle and the orange is on the side. Um, so anyway, it generates levels. It has kind of a few different color schemes. The tiles aren't always brown, and it, it matches the background colors to the tile colors. That's why it's not randomly generated. It's procedurally, right? Because <laughs> there's a little bit of thought like that in there. Um, it also is sure to generate these guys only where there's empty space, uh, although, as you can see, it... Uh, you know, th that one was right behind a wall there. Also, I can totally go off the edge of the screen. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, there's three different, sorry, four different kinds of level types. There's ones that are just open, like I first showed you, and there's one where there's uh, walls up on the top, and then one where there's walls on the bottom, and then one where there's walls on both, and so you have kind of a tunnel thing. Uh, and it's smart enough to make sure that the tunnel doesn't become, you know, horrible to pass through. There's a minimum uh, sort of width or height or whatever you want to say uh, of the tunnel. So, so anyway, what's next? Obviously, these monsters need to move around. They need to explode when you hit them or with, with bullets or yourself, I guess. Uh, and you should die when you hit the walls because that doesn't happen. Oh, look at that. I said it placed them on empty spots, but what's this? I think it's because only the front of these chains. Um, so, yeah, there's all sorts of interesting things for putting this together, and I don't know how much of that is worth showing off in the code. I don't know why not. We have uh, different kinds of generators for... Um, for enemies, you know, something that generates a chain of them, something that just generates one. Uh, I'll make enemies that move in little wibbly wobbly waves, you know, like you like you see, or or they fly down. There's, I think I only currently have one kind of enemy. Yeah, I just have a generic enemy class. I I, I will create different ones for different kinds of AIs. Ones that come at you in waves. Ones that you know just go from the top to the top of the screen to the bottom and shoot at you as they move, or or you know the reverse direction. Um, you know, whatever weird things I can, I can think of. And oh, those ones that, like, come in and, like, swirl around, you know, coming from the, or coming from behind, you know, all that stuff's going to have to be put into place. Um, and just sort of as, a, as a, one last thing, and then I'm going to shut up and get back to coding. Um, so it generates the levels so that there's appropriate spacing between waves and stuff when you're going from left to right. Uh, but because of how some of these things are long, like the chains, the chains... Uh, will be sure to be generated in reverse direction. So when you're coming at it from the from the right side of the screen, the chain will go from right to left. But because it has put spacing behind on its on it, you know behind it, if you were going left to right, is this making sense? The point is that the spacing is going to be all messed up when you go in reverse. And I was like, oh man, I have to work around that. But I don't think I do. I think in fact that'll make the levels more chaotic. And to, to add a little, hopefully that will be chaotic enough. To add some difficulty um, to the levels when you when you approach them in reverse, I'm hoping. Uh, I mean, I'll also have to obviously bump up the difficulty of the levels and uh, sorry, the difficulty of the monsters uh, when you're coming back through. Uh, they need they can't just get easier on, on the way as as you escape. Um, and I'm not exactly sure how I'll do that either. I will just you know give them more health or more damage or something. Um, the system for generating weapons. There's a big old class. Is kind of ugly. I, you, you know, I only got seven days. Shoot, the code can be bad. Um, but for generating uh, different kind of words and bonuses, I might do the same sort of thing for monsters so that coming back it says, okay, it's still this monster that comes in a chain and moves like this, but because it's higher level now, it gets more bonuses. It shoots faster. It has more armor. You know, it can pile those things on based on uh, the bonuses that the monster should have. And that just depends on the depth of the level, and we'll just you know, artificially inflate the depth on the way back. I don't know if what I've said made sense. It doesn't matter. You've seen the game. I'm going to get back to coding. Uh, hopefully this will be roguelike enough to be considered a, a roguelike for the purposes of the seven-day RL especially, because I'd like to submit it. Um, but, you know, certainly I'll release whatever I've got regardless. I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I need to get back to work.